Android head unit at my Golf Mark 6. Hello, could you be quiet, please? So I've got my daughter here. Right, um, the other day I was driving in my car. I've had this head unit for two years. Can't fault it. Not had any issues at all in that time until the other day when I was driving and it started flashing up with uh, UI not responding. So all of this at the top had disappeared. Touch screen didn't work. Hit the reset button down here. Oh, down here. And it'd start up again. And it'd keep looping back into this UI not responding until eventually, for some reason, it came up with this on the screen. So recovery mode. How it got into recovery mode, I don't know. But what you obviously got to do is move between the two options of try again and factory data reset. Now, all of these buttons are soft touch buttons that only work once the Android system's up and running. Sorry, let me just run you through this. I've got this wired up in my kitchen at the moment. I've got a um, laptop charger, positive going into the inside of the charger, negative on the outside, just running around up onto the uh, connection for the car. So you've got your negatives, the brown, and the yellow and green is going to the live, just switched into 12 volt. 12 volt plug, so it powers the head unit. It's perfectly safe to do. Right, so anyway, back to this. So it came up with, like I say, this on the screen, doing my head in. Couldn't move any of the buttons, couldn't get it to acknowledge or enter anything. So my first thought was the head unit shot. As you can see now, the head unit isn't shot. It's all back working again. Touch screen's all working. Um, no signal, there's no camera plugged in. Uh, my nav won't work either because there's obviously no USB plugged in, no um, GPS plugged in, but it's all working. It's all responding nice and quick. Let's just shut that down. Home button, back home. So my first thought was perhaps if I plug a USB laptop keyboard into one of the USB ports on the back, I could get it working and it'd, not, it'd acknowledge this, move up and down, press enter, do a reset. Didn't work. So what I did, or what I discovered out of frustration more really, is if you hit this reset button, let it go. Once it starts booting up, just tap the screen with four fingers. I think this has done it the wrong way now. I think it's five fingers you actually need. Something's detected. No, do it again. Let's do it again. Five fingers. Reset. To recover now. And what it's doing there is erasing everything that's on this um, head unit. So it's doing a factory reset basically. So if you want to do a factory reset on a head unit that hasn't got the physical factory reset like you get on some or like you do on your tablets, push the reset, five fingers tapping on the screen and you will see now as it loads up, obviously I've moved some icons so that you can see that it is actually factory reset back to factory condition. So once it gets to this Android point, it just freezes there. So I've been turning off the power. It's off. Turn it back on. There you go, you hear it just booting up. Dun, dun, dun. Back to the load screen. So it's having trouble focusing because it's trying to focus on the screen and everything else. So Android comes up and it should now load. Why is this playing up when it's on camera? Let's just try again, power off. It was doing it fine. Just unplug that a moment. Plug it back.
back in. Try again. I just want you to see that this does actually go all the way back through and reboot it. Did I do that? Or did I press the reset button again? Let's just see what happens this time. There we go. It's gone past Android. Nope, still playing up. Oh, no, there we go. There it is. All fully loaded. As you can see, time's reset. Icons are all back to where they were. If you watch the beginning, these icons, I've moved them deliberately and uh, it's all back running. So that is how you do a hard reset on an Android head unit that hasn't got the physical option. If we just go into the settings, uh, settings here. I've got other, my other head unit in my other car. When you come down this list and you go to the bottom, you go to system, there's another option down here to factory reset. It only appears that that factory reset is on cheaper head units, not on these more expensive ones. Tried contacting the seller of it, no response. I've spoke to the, spoken to them a few times about it and they just go, oh no, it can't be done this, that and the other, it can be done. You hit the reset button while it's loading up, all five fingers tapping on the screen and it will send it into a factory reset mode and wipe everything off it and back to its original factory reset condition. I hope this video helps some people out. Like I say, I thought the head unit would have to go into the bin because there was no way I could get it working, but I found a way. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Any questions, please ask.